It's encouraging. Where am I? The magnetic shock absorption system is located on this basement level. All the rooms here are full of mobile electromagnetic clusters. I can use an EMP on them. It's not gonna kill me, is it? Let's hope not, Comrade Major. What? So I could get crushed by a falling wall of magnets? Theoretically speaking, that shouldn't happen, but this is merely a hypothesis. I've never been here before. Seriously? That's weird. Well, whatever. Let's see here. The shock recovers much faster in magnetic fields. Interesting, okay. Might I remind you that you can change the magnet's polarity with a single shock charge? Comrade Major. Have you made it to the VDNH? Kinda. What's that supposed to mean? It means I'm kinda almost there. I'm in the magnetic shock absorption chamber, looking for a way to unlock the entrance doors. Can you open them for me? No, I can't. I don't have the skills. This is your responsibility. Then get off my grill. Yeah, man, get off my grill. Oh, it's a lot of walls. Let's see, is there a box up there? No. But there's a guy down there. All right, well, there's nothing to pick up then. I don't, I don't care. I'm sure, he's, I'm sure he's a nice person, but he's dead. And... Got things to do. Those freaks and their goddamn mustaches again. What you staring at, you metal dipshit? <laughs> oh, they're really. Quick when they get going, aren't they? Didn't think he was gonna do the uh, drag drop kick me right off the bat. Yeah, after those uh, testing grounds, this feels like a walk in the park. What's the point of this fucking maze anyway? The magnetic shock absorption system was developed by scientists from Kiev Polytechnic University. It's a very complex and comprehensive device that alters its configuration according to the situation. So it's plan B in case of a natural disaster. Among other things. But it is first and foremost a trial run of the magnetic shock absorption system. Here, under Earth conditions, the system will be perfected so that it can be deployed in space. Cool. Science is power. There's no denying it. But we still need to find a way past all these goddamn magnets. 
All right, so we need blue on the other side, don't we? Let's see, we've got a sleepy bot down there. I do want to go down then. <clears throat> Can I even get to that from, uh, new, no, it's going to close the thing. killed you. Nah, come on, not the robots. It was poor judgment. We should have gotten weapons and body armor. You see, the problem wasn't the robots. It was lack of preparation. You should always know what's going to happen. You can never be ready for everything. God damn it, that's a miserable excuse. Take my advice. Hmm? Never part with what you can use. Always think twice before wasting a bullet. Stay low and make short runs from one shelter to another. Never investigate anything unless absolutely necessary. Following your advice would make life pretty damn dull. Do what I did and you're gonna live longer. Look, uh, there's a hole big enough in your logic to drive a truck through, but whatever. <laughs> I always wear your rubber underwear and your tinfoil hat. Be prepared for anything. <laughs> All right, so we need to get over there. Uh, what does that one do over there, actually? So, okay, that goes up. You cannot push this? Weird. Okay. Well, that's new, huh? Charles, what the hell does Molotov have against Dr. Sechenov? Why do you have to cook this commission up two days before the launch of Collective? Everything's ready. Exactly because everything is ready. What do you mean? Are you trying to say that Molotov and his commission want to steal the fruits of Sechenov's labor two days before the launch? Indeed. The malfunction Petrov caused is an excellent pretext for showing that Dr. Sechenov is incapable of overseeing Facility 3826, mm. and by extension, the polymerization of the Soviet Union. What's the boss got to do with it? This is all Petrov's fault. He's the one who made the robots turn the facility into a heap of corpses. I'm afraid Comrade Molotov doesn't care how many victims there are, but neither does Comrade Sechenov. What? What the fuck are you talking about, Glove? The boss is doing everything he can to fix this. To be precise, Comrade Major, it's you doing everything you can to fix this, not Dr. Sechenov. But he's the one who sent me here. But why did he do that? Think about it logically. 
Comrades Sechenov and Molotov both have something to gain from preventing information about this terrible malfunction becoming known to the rest of the world. Because no one would believe that a handful of traitors are responsible for the whole thing. Everybody would think that Soviet robots are dangerous. Quite right. But what conclusion should we draw from this? Only that, hypothetically, comrades Sechenov and Molotov should both have a vested interest in ending this nightmare as quickly as possible. Isn't that right? Yeah. So what? We're seeing a common, everyday power struggle. Instead of going to the government and having troops sent to Facility 3826 to destroy the hostile robots, arrest Petrov, or end this in some other way, Dr. Sechenov is doing everything he can to conceal the tragedy from everyone, including the government. Hmm. All right, what else we got in here? I assume there's gonna be a twist at some point. I'll have to see what it is. I'm looking, for, looking forward to seeing where the story goes. All right, I was down. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Right. There's two separate sections. Interesting. Okay. Fading data. Who poses these these uh, dummies? And they're all they're all wearing the dang must they all have mustaches on? Yeah. It's like they just did they did one order of heads. For all the dummies, no matter what what their what their what their uh, configuration was. All right, so three blue, huh? Interesting. <laughs> mustache, yes, mustache is for everybody. You get a mustache, and no, you get a... I know that high-ranking Communist Party members will have more authority and collective than ordinary citizens, but that's fine. I mean, somebody's got to make big decisions, right? Is that so? Why, pray tell? Well, first off, somebody has to be responsible for carrying them out. It's not like everyone can be responsible for everything. Everyone means no one. Someone's got to take responsibility. The buck has to stop somewhere, right? And if the whole world did nothing but debate big decisions, no one would ever do anything. They'd spend all their time talking. But what if you're wrong? You say that the entire world would never stop discussing important decisions. Collective is a collective mind. Having merged into one, mankind will instantly know everything anyone wants to express. And in this singular collective, Responsibility will be determined not by fear of punishment, but by awareness. Has anyone ever reached that level, even here in the USSR? We're not perfect, to say nothing of the rest of the world. Absolutely right. The world may not be ready for the launch of Collective. The Soviet Union's leaders understand this. 
That's why the party will have special discretionary authority within Collective. What's wrong with that? That's how it's always been. Has it really? Or has there always been one indisputable leader? A puppet master controlling the Politburo, the Council of Ministers, and all the rest. Are you trying to say there's gonna be one single leader in Collective? I'm trying to say that people will connect to Collective via a neuro-connector. You mean a thought device. Everyone knows that. The thought device is for ordinary citizens. But individuals in privileged leadership positions will have special engraved connectors that grant them a higher priority on the network. Mm. So even the leaders will be equal. That's a good thing, right? It would be. But Collective can only be launched via the Alpha Connector. It's the key to everything, including assigning discretionary authority. So Dr. Sechenov has the Alpha Connector right now, and Comrade Molotov wants to kick him out of the facility so he can take the Alpha Connector for himself. Exactly. The number of people killed here as a result of Petrov's betrayal is a precious little concern to Comrade Molotov. He wants to take control of Collective. That's why he's on his way here right now. Crispy critters. Crispy I never critters. liked that guy. He's always complaining about Sechenov, but I never expected shit like this from him. We gotta hurry. So I guess I need to get over here? Not get squished? Yes. <clears throat> So interesting. So there's like a control node for everybody. That seems like a not a not a good thing at all. Kind of sounds like uh... fading data. Could happen with uh, Musk's neural link. Yeah, I don't know about the whole computer in the brain thing. I'm not, uh, I'm not sold. Especially with my, linking my brain to everybody else's. No offense, chat. Yeah, everyone's equal, but some are a little more equal than others. Ah. Uh. Repair the mechanism. Was this not where it's? Oh, there's a thing on the floor. I'm not used to seeing them on the floor. So this little thing is the reason everything's all jammed up. <laughs> this place is nuts. You can ascend to the surface along with the mirror. For once, you're right. I'd probably reach Nirvana before I could make it back down the way I came. Uh, let's see. Am I supposed to go in here? I feel like I cannot. No. Yes, it just goes. Have you infiltrated the VDNH yet, Comrade Major? The government's commission's condor has already left Moscow. They'll be here any minute now. If the commission hasn't landed yet, that means there's still time. Just let me work in peace. Shall I report to Dr. Sechenov that it is his requests that prevent you from working? Yeah, you can report on how you ran away from those robots on the maglev platform instead of helping. I am not a Ooh. soldier, Comrade Major. I am doing intellectual, not menial labor. Smashing robots is your specialty. The only labor you're doing is talking my ear off. Right now you're wasting my time and slowing down my mission. What? Nothing. Ah, uh, that's what I thought. Well, you're not malfunctioning, are you, Charles? Don't have an insane glove on my hand. How do I get in there? There's a box in there. A lock on the door?
I forget him. We need we need like a key we need a like a whatever it is a key for this one don't we show us a little light combo please select the desired procedure all right Find the pattern in a different room, okay. Fading data. I don't understand, but we'll be happy, happy to help you. you. Error six eight. Playback failed. How can can I? How can I help you? I need to get into the exhibit. How do I open the door? The line can be be open with my multi key. Error. Multi key not found. All Terish Cobra models can transform their index fingers into keys. It's one of their basic functions. Looks like you lost your multi key. <laughs> My forearms have been torn off by miscreants. Error. The required manipulative node is missing. The unlocking function cannot be initiated. Right. Where could she have lost her hands? I suggest you start searching this location. I don't know. Charles, what do the special neural connectors for collective look like? You know, the ones the government is supposed to get. The ones they will get look like thought devices, but in a golden diamond encrusted shell. The scientists from Dr. Sechenov's team have already received different devices. Different? You mean there's going to be ones with different capabilities? According to Dr. Sechenov's plan, bureaucrats and civil servants will receive fakes. Only the scientists will receive real connectors with discretionary authority. The boss is going to try to deceive the government? That's crazy. How do you know that? Where did you get your neuropolymer glove from, Comrade Major? What? You mean yourself? I got you from Dr. Sechenov. Exactly. Hold on. You mean he gave me his own glove? The fate of his life's work depends on the success of your mission. <laughs> he did ask me to be careful with you. Interesting. So they were going to try to... Huh. Try to pull it over on the, the government. <laughs> it's like diamond and gold encrusted. That's a key right there. I guess I need a I need a hand, don't I? Error six eight. Playback failed. All right. Anything interesting on these computers? Proceed to the information. Ghost, listen, Karim, I'm serious. Someone's been walking around the exhibits at night. Yes, I know the cameras don't show anyone, but I saw a glowing silhouette. I wasn't drunk, you know, I haven't had a drop since the war. The thing just walked right out of the wall, almost like a, it was a will of the wisp, and, and strode past the exhibits and vanished into the darkness. A few tour guides have also reported seeing someone. They say they saw a woman flying through the dark, crying as if someone, uh, if this is someone ideas of a joke, I won't stand for it. You know me, I'll lock. I'll knock their damn teeth out. I don't care who they are, but if not, anyway, I refuse to work overnight shifts or and I won't be responsible for my actions. Uh, let's see here. It's my duty to inform you that the S. Lastochin is uh, the director of the Philistaka Theater has adopted the habit of inviting his guests who are frequently leave his institution in a less than sober state to the VDNH. These loud, tipsy visitors have been behaving in an unacceptable fashion. However, since they are high-ranking uh, officials, there is no way to control them. Please find a way to prevent Lastokin's guests from entering the museum. Warning. Due to a conflict between Lastokin and the manager of the Pilisteca Theater, our management staff and our management staff, VDNH employees will no longer be given theater tickets as incentives. 
We cannot tolerate this be their behavior, comrades. Everyone knows that the theater has become a den of inequity under the pompous dandy's leadership. I frequently receive messages about what's happening backstage. Shield yourself and your subordinates. These bourgeoisie vices, uh, unworthy of the Soviet citizen. <laughs> okay. I'm going to kill you, but uh, I'll save you for last. Let's save a full charge on the old... Do the trick. No, you are quite durable. Jeez. Oh, what now? An eternity looking at this worthless hunk of junk? The backstabbing machine that killed me? Yeah, I figured if he was the only robot there, only robot there, and I knew he wasn't going to attack right away, so I just lined up. Uh, it's a phase. It'll pass. It's a phase. It'll pass. It's already passing. I can't even remember my own name anymore. But his metal muck is still there. I still remember the bastard gutting me. They told us robots were going to replace us. As staff, I mean. Well, they certainly did. Only they did it by slaughtering us all. That's some replacement, isn't it? Oh, well. <sighs> Just leave me alone. I want to doze off. Let's see here. Minor corrections. And urgent, urgent corrections. Please delete this text from the brochures for Q3 1956. The VDNH was originally planned to be a flying complex located on Icarus platform in Chelomany. This floating museum would travel to the Soviet Union, inviting visitors from cities and towns along its path to come and enjoy its exhibits. However, New machines destined to be part of the exhibits were developed so quickly, its exhibits would be inevitably become out of date while the platform was flying. From Vladivostok to Leningrad, it was therefore decided to leave the VDNH at Facility 3826. Comrade Nazarov, I'm simply thrilled by your poster's excellent work. However, I would like you to make a batch of new ones for my subordinates. They should be violent, terrifying, and bloody. Remember, watch out for the other side of the net. I like that, but more violent. The magnets uh, here are very, very dangerous, and the posters uh, should let people know that if you make one mistake, that's it. Make a couple of mock-ups, and I'll take a look at them and tell you what to fix. I want the people's blood to run cold. All right. Let's see. An analysis of biometric indicators show that 96.4% of visitors during the 1955 report, reporting period expressed the following level of reaction to the appearance of the following robots. So, they did not like the Rafik, they seemed to like the Tereshkova and the Natashas. And the Bella, uh, yeah, didn't like the, they did not like the Hedgy. Mm hmm. So, I assume 10 is good and, and 2 is bad. <laughs> well, what's wrong with the Hedgy? Other than it's 
being totally terrifying when it goes off the rail. Send data for analysis. All right. Have we met a Natasha yet? I don't think we have. <laughs> 